Star Trek, the original series, Charlie X, Captain's Log, star date 1533.6. Now we're moving to come alongside Ves- Vessel Andres. It's Captain and First Officer beaming over to us with an unusual passenger. Transporter room. Kirk, all right, Chief. Begin mirror, m- m- materialization. Captain Remit, I'm Captain Kirk. Remit, this is my navigator, Tim Tom Nails. Kirk, how do you do, Nails? How do you do, Remit? And this is our young castaway, Charlie, Charlie Evans, his dossier. Kirk, Master Evans, we've heard a great deal about you. Welcome aboard. Very wonderful boy, Charlie. You've been an honour to have him, having him aboard. That is, well, you've been a great pleasure. The things that he's learnt in the last... Remit, absolutely, to think this boy spent practically his whole life alone on that planet, everyone killed, just a few microtapes to learn from. Charlie, how many humans like me on a ship? Remit, like a whole city in space, Charlie. Over 400 in the crew, the crew of the starship, isn't there, Captain? Kirk, <coughs> 428 to be exact. Is there anything we can do for you, Captain? Captain? Medical supplies, provisions, Charlie, hundreds. Are all human like me? That's exciting. Is that the right word? That is. As perfect as is that word, Remit. You see, when we we like to keep Charlie with us, but he's but with his closest living relatives of Colony Five, your vessel going this that way. Why? Charlie, I like to see your ship now. All of it, the people and everything, Kirk. You keep interrupting, Mr Evans. That's considered wrong. Charlie, I'm sorry. Kirk, we have an empty. We have a large supply of entertainment tapes, gentlemen. We meant no. We're in tight schedule to make. Captain, just twenty of us. We're making out fine. Kirk, this must be a space first. A transport ship that doesn't need anything. We meant nothing. Kirk, not even Saran and brandy. We meant we are fine, thank you. Pleasant journey, Captain. Kirk, thank you. The pair have beamed off. Kirk, Yeoman Rand. This is Kirk Charles Evans. Now show him his quarters and drop his records off at Dr. McCoy's office, if you will. Rand, yes, sir. Come with me, please, Charlie. Are you a girl? Is that a girl? Kirk, that's a girl. Captain's log. Star date 1533. Point seven. We're taking aboard an unusual passenger for transport to Colony Alpha 5. Charles Evans, a sole survivor of a transport crash 14 years ago. The Charles alone from age 3 has not only survived, but he's grown to intelligence, healthy, as an adolescent, sick bay, McCoy. Tell me, ship supply of food concentrates shouldn't have lasted 14 years, Charlie. After that, I found other things to eat, just growing around. McCoy, you learned to talk by just listening to the ship tapes? Charlie, the memory bank still worked. They talked to me, and I talked back. Charlie, you're four oh Charlie, four? McCoy, four oh one hundred percent sound of wind and limb. Charlie, is that's that's that Captain Kirk? McCoy, yeah. Charlie, why does he call me Mr Evans? McCoy, because that's your name. McCoy you, Charlie, he's not, well, it's, he isn't like Captain Remit. McCoy, well, no, Captain Kirk is one of McCoy, Charlie. Charlie, do you like me? McCoy, why not? Charlie, some on the other ship, they like me. I tried, I'm trying, I'm trying to make people like me. I want them to like me. McCoy, most 17 year olds do. Come on, let's go, I'll show you your quarters. Corridor. Crewman. Hey, Crewman 1. Hey, I'll put your equipment away. See you in the rec room, huh? Crewman 2, you got a deal, friend. Slaps a man on bottom. Crewman 1, all right. To Charlie, hello. Charlie, I brought you a present, a bottle of perfume, man. Oh, thank you, I really appreciate it. But I have to go, I'm on duty, Charlie. Do, do you like that kind? Ran, yes, it's my favourite. Where did you get it? It doesn't have any in, it, in, in the ship's doors. Charlie, it's a present. Ran, I know, but where, where did... Gee, I'm late, Charlie. I have to go. Charlie, don't, can't you stay and talk a little while? Ran, look, I'm off duty at 1400. 
Why don't you join me in the recreation room six? Deck three. Charlie, you got a deal, friend. Snaps a button. Man, Charlie. Charlie, I thought... Don't be angry. I don't... I didn't want it. Man, Charlie, you... You just can't go around slapping girls on... On the... It's okay, but just don't do it again. Charlie, don't be angry. Ran, look, why don't you tell Captain Kirk or Dr. McCoy what you did? I'll explain to you, okay? Charlie, I will. Ran, okay. Bridge McCoy. Did, but tell me, what reason would would he have to lie if there were Arthesians? Spock, this is very, that is a very intriguing question. Scanners have shown no disturbances in his quartet. Captain Kirk, good, Captain Kirk. Good. Dr. McCoy, Commissioner Spock is working out that you're a... Uh, excuse me, Captain. Face is Paul Kirk, thank you. He's working out a training program for Cap- Charlie Evans. Earth history, his own background, that sort of thing. I'd like to give him the necessary medical orientation on problems of uh, adolescence. McCoy, well, don't you think it's better to be... Sh- better for a strong father? People like you, he already looks up to you. Kirk, the job is yours, Bones. Like we will get you nowhere. I thought, Doctor, didn't the boy make any reference to all to the Fissians? But do you believe the legend, Mr. Spock, the Fissians still exist on that planet in some form? Spock, Charlie's very existence proves, in fact, it must be some intelligent form of life of Fissius. He could not possibly have survived alone. Ships, concentrates, would have been exhausted in a year or so, McCoy. Or, or by which time he would have been eating fruits, vegetables, McCoy, spot probes, a thesis indicated very edible, very little edible, lots of plant life, McCoy. The probes have been known to be wrong, Spock, McCoy, Doctor. Are you speaking scientifically, emotionally? McCurk, gentlemen, the fact is the boy is here and he's alive, he needs our help, McCoy. He needs a guide, he needs a father figure, Jim. Kirk, I depend on your astute abilities to supply him with that. Or find or find find him one. Recreation room. Spock is strumming his guitar when you you Eura starts humming. Spock stops. Eura, I'm sorry, I didn't I did it again, didn't I? Spock smirks and Eura begins to play again. Eura singing. Oh, on the Starship Enterprise, there's someone who's in Satan's guise, whose ears and devil eyes could rip your heart from you. At first he looked, could hypnotise, and then he's touched with barbatise. He's alien world will victimise and rip your heart from you. And that's why female astronauts, oh, very female astronauts, wait, terrified and overwrought. I find any will do, old girls in space, be wary. Be wary, be wary, girls in space, be wary. We know what not you'll do. Ram, one more time. You're a singing now from a planet in, out in space. It comes an ad, not a commonplace. A singing out is a forced embrace. He's saving it for you, oh Charlie, your new, oh, you darling, oh darling, oh darling. Charlie's our new darling. We know not what to do. You're a sunny, loses a voice, and you're Lara. It makes no sound, Charlie. Want to see something? Puts the three cards face down. Turn them over. They have pictures of Ran on them. Ran. Well, how do you do that, Charlie? I, oh, I can't. I could do all lots of card tricks. One of one of my entries showed me the cards returned to normal. Ran. I don't believe this. He lays the aces that throws them over his shoulder, and then removes it from a cleavage. Corridor. Kirk. On. On Earth today, it's Thanksgiving. It's the crew that eat sympathetic meatloaf. I want it to look like turkey, Charlie. Charlie, Captain, I suppose you. Uh, I suppose I'll ask you something. Why sh- shouldn't I? Don't know how to explain it. Kirk, say it out right out, Charlie. That usually works. Charlie, well, in the corridor, I saw when Janice, when Young and Ren was slapped Kirk's bottom. I did that to her. She didn't like it. She said that you were explaining it to me. Kurt, me? I see. Well, um, there are things you can do with Lady uh, Charlie that you are... Uh, and there's no right way to hit a woman. I mean, man to man is one thing, but uh, a woman, it's... Uh, well, it's another thing. Do you understand? Charlie, I don't know. You're uh, Captain Kirk. Kirk, excuse me. Kirk here. 
You're uh, Captain Rennard of our days. is on D Channel. Kirk, I'm on my way to the bridge now. Charlie, can I come with you? Kirk, I don't think so, Charlie. Charlie, I don't get, I wouldn't get in the way. Kirk, okay. Bridge Aurora. Can you boost your power out, Harris? You barely hear it reading or transmission. Remit, we are on full put output enterprise. I must speak to Captain Kirk. Kirk. Kirk here, Captain Rampart. Rampart. Captain, we can barely, we, you're just barely in range. I've got to warn Kirk. We used to have his contract. The Aurora, they're not transmitting. Kirk, keep trying, Charlie. It wasn't very well constructed. Kirk, sweep the air of Atari's transmission. We are pro scanners, Mr. Spock. Spock, the front of Captain. Kirk, you think something happened to Atari's, Charlie? Charlie, I don't know. Spock, picking up some debris on our scanners, Captain. Kirk, what about the, the Atari's? Spock, the debris is what's left the Atari's. Chief, Captain Kirk from the ship's gallery. Kirk, Kirk here. Chef, sir. I put meatloaf in the ovens. The turkey's in there now. Real turkeys, Kirk, Captain. Chief, have you been... Charlie laughs and leaves. Captain's log, star date 1535.8. Ye- Ye- yes, bar headquarters notified. The mysterious loss of space pro vessel Atari's. Recreation room. Kirk and Spock are playing 3D chess, Kirk. Spock, your mind is not on the game, Captain. Check the Antares. Kirk, a survey ship for 20 men aboard lost. No reason, obviously. Captain Rampart was not aware of any trouble. I can't forget it. Can't fear of it. But my concern is more immediate, the boy. Kirk, I can usually follow you. Richard Buck, by this time, Spock. You seem to know what happened to the Ataris before we did. We did. Kirk, I call it pretty long reach for evidence, Mr. Spock. Come in, Charlie. Spock, and again, check. Spock, Kirk, checkmate. Spock, your logical approach to chess does have its advantages of Cajun's captain. Kirk, I prefer to call it inspired. Spock, as you wish. At any rate, the game is yours. Kirk, you play chess, Charlie? Charlie, uh, I watched them play chess in the Ferraris. Can I try? Kirk, I place you in the hands of our chess master. Kirk gets on up and leaves. Spock, the principles of three-dimensional chess are basically with mathematic, Charlie. You put the white here... A black on the secondary level. Charlie, I know that. What what it is? Let's play, Spock. Very well. Just a few minutes later. A mistake, Charlie. Charlie, no, it wasn't. Spock, checkmate. Charlie, no, it isn't. Spock, if you excuse me. Charlie, Spock leaves. Charlie melts the white chess pieces. Man, old Charlie. I was looking for you. I'd like you to meet Tina Lonston. Yeoman fur class, Charlie Evans, Tina. Hello, Charlie. Rana, I thought you might enjoy meeting someone your own age, Charlie. Can I talk to you alone? Ran, Charlie, Tina. Can you excuse me? I'm, I want to be, I'm, I must be wanted somewhere. Ran, that was, that was rude and completely uncalled for, Charlie. But I don't need her. I want to talk to you, Ran. There's no excuse. You better learn that right now. You have to live with people, Charlie. You cannot alone anymore Charlie if not as if she's not as she doesn't she's not the same not like you she's just a girl you would smell like a girl all the other girls on the ship they don't look look like Tina you're the only one who looks like you you understand can't you you know you, about being with somebody wanting to be I had a whole universe to give to you then I see you I'm like I feel like I'm hungry all over hungry do you know how that feels Bridge, Kirk, what, ran. I'm not sure. Should I talk to you about this? Kirk, Charlie's a 17-year-old boy. Ran, exactly, and he's... Kirk, I talked to him about that. The SWAT. Ran, it's not that, Captain. I've seen that look before. It's something he isn't done. Sooner or later, I'm going to have to hurt him. Tell him to leave me alone. It won't be good for him right now. You see? I'm his first crush, his first love, his first... Kirk, yes, Raymond, I'll talk to him. I'll look into it. Ryan, thank you, sir. Kurt's quarters, Kirk. Come in, Charlie. Oh, uh, Charlie. Charlie, do you know something about this chess piece? Did you notice something peculiar in him when we were using them this afternoon? Charlie, no, sir. Is that all? Kirk, no, no, no. Sit down, Charlie. Being 17 is more than, about, than how many years you've lived. There's a whole other thing. Dr. McCoy could explain the biological conditions. Let's, let's use a scientific 
The specific human round is a woman. Trey, oh, I didn't hit her like that anymore. Kirk, no, there's one more to it than that. Charlie, everything I do or say is wrong. I'm in a way. I don't know what the don't know the rules. I learn something. I try to do it. Something suddenly I'm wrong. Kurt, you now wait, wait, Kurt, Charlie. I don't know what I am or what I'm supposed to be, even who I. I don't know why I hurt so much inside all the time. Kurt, you live, believe me. There's nothing wrong with you. That isn't wrong with every other human male since the model first came up. Charlie, what if you care for someone? What do you do? Kirk, you go slow. You be gentle, mean. It's not a one-way street. You know how this, you feel? And that's all. It's how the girl feels, too. Don't press, Charlie. If the girl feels anything for you, you'll know it. Do you understand? Charlie, you don't think Janice, you, she could, she could love me? Kirk, she's not that, that the girl, Charlie. The years are wrong for one thing. There are other things. Kirk, Charlie, she can? Kirk, no, Charlie. Charlie, she is? Kirk, no. Charlie, but if I want, did what you said, if I was gentle, Kirk. Charlie, there's no, there are a million things in this universe you can have, and there are a million things you can't have. No fun facing that. But that's the way things are, Charlie. Then what am I going to do? Kirk, hang on tight and survive. Everyone does. Charlie, you don't. Kirk, everyone. Uddy, Charlie, you, me too, Charlie. I'm trying. I don't know how. Kirk, Kirk here, you're a, you asked to be notified when we made our course adjustments, sir. Kirk, I asked Mr. Spock to see to it. Charlie, come on, come with me, gymnasium. Kirk, you've got a slap on the floor. To absorb the energy when you fall. Go ahead, try it. Like everything else, it takes practice, Charlie. Try again, good, that's much better. Here now, I'll show you a shoulder roll. Try that. Charlie, don't want to do that. Kirk, well, it makes it hard to teach you. Charlie, don't want to do that. Kirk, all right, Charlie, lesson's over for today. Charlie, are you going to teach me how to fight? Kirk, you have to learn to protect yourself in the fall before you do that. It's more than teaching you to defend yourself, Charlie. I want you to learn, Charlie. Hey, Sam, let me borrow you for a couple of easy throws, all right? Sam, right. Kurt, watch it. Watch this, Charlie. It wasn't so bad, was it? Now, I'll throw him. Here, here we go, Sam. Sam. Charlie, that looks harder. Sam, oh. Kurt, come on, Charlie. Try to, try it, uh, 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 boy. Let's go. Charlie doesn't even, they can't make Kurt lose his balance. Gets dumped instead. Charlie, oh. Sam laughs. Kurt. It wasn't so bad, was it? Charlie, don't laugh at me. Kurt, call off. Charlie, don't laugh at me. Sam disappears. Kurt, Charlie? Charlie, you shouldn't have done that. It's not a nice to laugh at people. Kurt, what have you done to him, Charlie? Charlie's gone. Kurt, that's not no, that's no answer. Charlie, he's gone. I don't mean to do that. He, he made me do it. He laughed at me. Crewman Bridge. Kurt, Kirk here. Two men for security and a double. Crewman? Affirmative. Charlie, what are you, what are you going doing going to do to me? Kirk, I'm confining you to quarters. I want to, you, them, you to stay there. Kirk, I won't let them hurt me. I have to them go away, you too. Kirk, you won't hurt, they won't hurt you, Charlie. Security arrive. I'll take you to, uh, take you to the quarters, Charlie. Go with them. Charlie knocks them down. One draws his phaser, Charlie. Now the phaser disappears, Kirk. Go to quarters. Charlie is going to hurt me. Kirk, go to your quarters. I'll pick you up and carry you there. Charlie, I won't let you. Kurt, that's your choice, Charlie. Charlie, I won't let them hurt me. Kurt, they won't hurt you. Euro, Captain Kirk. Kirk here. Euro, security reports that all phaser weapons have disappeared. Shall I repeat, Captain? Kurt, no, I heard you. Oh, Dr. McCoy and Mr. Spock, meet me in the briefing room. Briefing room. <coughs> Spock. Phaetians have been referred to in, to in our records as having power to transmit objects or render substances invisible. It's generally been regarded as a legend. Though Charlie does not seem to possess the same the same power, Kirk. What are the chances that Charlie's not an earthling, that he's a Tissian? McCoy, no, I don't think so. Not unless they're exactly like earthlings. The development of his fingers and toes exactly matches the present development of man on earth. Spock agreed. Kirk, whatever he is, I have no idea what, I have some idea of how he has. 
I know I saw him do in the gymnasium. McCoy, considering the effect a normal antithesis on the home, Trolley, with the power he has, Kirk, short-tempered, but he doesn't understand. He wants, he needs, he wants. Nothing happens fast enough. But the probability is he's possible the responsible for destruction of the Atari's which indicate a total discard for human life. Kirk, he doesn't understand that what that what life is. He's a boy. McCoy, well, what will we do with this boy, Jim? How do we keep him caged up? Kirk, he goes even further than that, Doctor. We can't take him with us to Earth Colony 5. Can you imagine what he'd do in the open, normal environment? I talked with him, listen. He's a boy in a man's body. Trying to be an adult, with an adolescent in him getting in the way. Spock, and with a weapon in him, destroy you or anyone anywhere on this ship. McCoy. Well, for the moment he stopped, the authority inspects Jim. Spock agreed. The struggle must remain between you and him. Should any of us interfere, Charlie enters under guard. Charlie, you wanted to ask me something, he said. Kirk, are you responsible for what happened to the Atari, Charlie? Charlie, why? Kirk, answer me. Charlie, yes. There's a wall baffle plate, a shield and an enemy energy pole. I made it go away. They would blow, they blow up anyway. Well, they, isn't I, they aren't, weren't nice to me. They wanted to get rid of me. They don't know. Kirk, what about us, Charlie? Charlie, I don't know. Charlie Lee, Spock. We have the, we're in the hands of an obsolescent bridge. Kirk. Lieutenant Ray's... Colonel only five. I want to speak to directly to Governor. Eurora, yes, sir. Kirk, navigator, lay a course away from Colonel only five. Buy me some time, navigator, yes, sir. You're a console short turkets. She's thrown to the floor. Kirk Spock, get the doctor out here. A double. How is it, Eurora? I think it's all right, sir. Sir, there's no reasons for the panel cross circuit like that. I checked it over but 15 minutes ago. Navigator, Captain, I can't feed any course coordinates in the panel. So he directs a course change, pilot. Helm doesn't respond either, sir. Charlie enters. Kirk, Mr. Spock, you're going, getting any readings on your instruments? Spock, yes, sir. There's a tiger, tiger, burning bright in the forest of the night. Kirk, Mr. Spock? Spock, I'm trying to, trying to set the rings around my head, down a road that's Martian red. Charlie, you're trying to change course, Captain. You can't do that. I want to go to Colony 5 soon as we can. Kirk, release the transmitter. Charlie, it doesn't need... You don't need all the suspects, chatter. McCoy, what's going on there? Spock calls me to bridge and goes into some kind of poetry. Kurt, see, her, see to her. Charlie, Doctor. Spock, once again upon the midnight jury, by a pun, weak and weary. Charlie, very nice, Mr. Ears. Oh, I can make him do anything, whirl around, laugh, anything. Kurt, that's enough, Charlie. Charlie, don't you think he's funny? I think he's funny. Kurt, leave my crew alone, Charlie, leave, Spock. Jimmy, as soon reach a point, we won't back down. Kirk, I know. Corridor, Tina. Charlie, what's wrong? He turns her into an iguana. Vans in quarters. Charlie, I've got something for you. A rose, pink, and it's your favourite, isn't it? Man, you didn't walk into my room without knocking. Charlie, you don't even lock your door on me again. Don't you ever lock your door on me again, Janice? I love you. Man, I lock it. No, please. What is it you want, anyway? Charlie, own you. I want you to be nice to you. I'll give you anything. Just tell me. Ran, switching on com. I want you to get out. Bridge, Charlie. But I only want to be nice to you, Ran. Get out, Charlie. Sprat, Kirk, Spock. Ran, I can't make it any plainer than that. Ran's quarters. Charlie, I love you. Ran. You don't know what the word means, Charlie. And show me, Ran, no. Kirk and Spock rush in. Kirk... Charlie knocks him down. Ran, ran, Charlie. She slaps him, so he makes her disappear. Charlie, why did she do that? I loved her. She wasn't nice at all. What you did wasn't nice either. But I need you, Captain. The Enterprise isn't quite like the Antares. Well, the Antares was easy. You have to be nice, all right? Gain gives pain. Cut, Mr. Spock. Spock, my legs, they're broken. Cut, let him go too, Charlie. Charlie, why? Cut, because I'm telling you to. Because you need me to run this ship, and I need him. Charlie, if you try to hurt me again, I have a lot of people go away. Kirk, and what about Yeoman and Janet Dennis? Is she dead? Gone? Disobtroyed? Charlie, I don't, Kirk won't tell you. Growing up, it isn't much, so much. 
I'm not a man. I can do anything. You can't. Corridor spot. I activate the fields field myself. You return to your section. Charlie. He had a mean look. I had to freeze him. I like happy looks. Enter his room. Aren't you coming in? A false third act of the doorway. And Charlie makes the wall go away. He freezes Kurt. And Spock. Charlie, that wasn't nice. You're sorry. You'll wait and see. You'll be sorry you did that. I freeze them. You will. He turns to the young woman, to the old one. So I'm cool laughing in the room. Charlie, no laughing. They show his freeze and a woman with no face feels away around the corner. Bridge, you're right. Captain Kurt, my instruments show we receive a message. Suspense frequency. Free. Ship to ship. I can't hear it, sir. Kurt, are you creating this that message, Charlie? Or are you blocking one that's coming in? Charlie's my game, Captain. You have to find it. Like you said, that's how games play. You can have it now. I locked on course for Connie Five. Leaves, Kirk. I'm waiting long enough. I'm going to take him on. McCoy, you can't, don't have any special immunity. Not anymore. Push far enough. He'll send you off to Oblivion 2. Kirk, Mr. Spock? Spock, I have a question. Kirk, wait a minute. Did Charlie... Wait, I'll wait, Spock. Has he gone done away with anybody since we took over? Spock, not as far as we know. Kirk, maybe he can't. Could he be over a reach himself? It's a big ship. You take control. You could tax his power, turn on every device of the ship, every circuit, every light, all of it. While he's lighting, fighting that, I could distract him. Maybe you could tranquilize him, keep him down until we reach Colony 5. Look are you risky, Jim. Kirk, if you don't try, Doctor, we'll get rid of us anyway. There's no choice, gentlemen. None at all. Charlie, I can make you go all the way any time I want to, Kirk. Get on my chair, Charlie. Get out of it now. Charlie, I've not I've got your ship, Captain. Kirk, maybe, Charlie? I don't think you can handle any more. I think you've reached your limit. I can't take on one no. thing. You can't take on one more thing. But you're no. going to have to. Charlie, I wish I could have sent you away before, but I didn't. Kirk, no. you're going to have to take me on. Charlie, don't make me do it now. Kirk, you've got my ship. I want it back. I want my crew back. Whole. You break your... Break your neck to do it throws him in a, out of the corner to my chair jolly don't push me gives Kirk pain sorry I'm sorry but stop it I can't I said stop it Spot Captain no way as soon as the console is clear now ship is answering the phone you're with Horace sir something off the stop of world now Richie says they're from Ferris man with peers Johnny oh right Captain how did I Kirk he's awake Roman Spot. Sensors show there's something there. there. Captain, detectives indicate no solid substance. Charlie, no, no, please. Don't let them take me. I can't live with them anymore. You're my friends. You said you're my friends, remember? I came on. Please, bro, please. I want to go home. Take me home for us. I've taken my form for centuries ago. So let me, I may communicate for you. We did not realise. Till too late, the boy gone. It's sad that his escape cost the lives of the first ship. We could not help them. But you turn your people and your ship to your everything as it was, Charlie. I don't want to do it again. Please, I'll be good. I'll never do it again. I'm sorry about it, Taurus. I'm sorry. When I, when I come aboard, please, I want to go with you. Help me. Kurt, the boy belongs to his own kind. This and that would be impossible, Kurt. With training, we could teach him to live in our society. Can we talk? Not to use his power. This and he gave him the power so he could live. He still will use it always. He would destroy your little kind, and you would be forced to destroy him to save yourselves. Kirk, is there so nothing you can do? This and we can offer him life. We take care of him. Come, Charles. Tony, please don't let them take me. I can't touch them, Janice. They can't feel not like you. They don't love. Please, I want to save his way, your aura. Charlie, back on board the fish and ship, sir. The signal they're leaving. Kirk, it's all right, you know, Roman. It's all over now.